morning. Welcome back to the cozy cabin. We're back again for another weekend. Um, just having some coffee. It's a uh, oh, woodpecker. Um, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. No clouds in the sky. Clear skies. Sun is uh, just coming up. About 7.30 in the morning, there's some frost around, but I anticipate they'll be gone real fast. It's supposed to be plus 13 today in full sun, so we're going to have a beautiful day. Got a few projects lined up to do today. Um, I bought a new cell booster, so I'm going to hop up on the roof and replace the one we currently have with uh, with the newer one, so hopefully this one will work a little bit better. Um, I actually tried it last night, um, still using the old antenna. I just replaced the unit, and it already looks like uh, it's doing a little bit better. Uh, but I'm only getting the H plus signal right now, so no no LT. But I'm assuming that's because of the antenna. Um, but yeah, coffee's good. Birds are chirping around, you can hear them, so we know that spring is in full swing. Hopefully, uh, we did have a few cold days this past week or so, and even a little bit of snow falling here and there, so I'm, I'm hoping this is it, and from now on it's just going to be sunshine and, and warm weather. Um, unfortunately with that, the, uh, the bugs are going to come out. So we're gonna start seeing mosquitoes, and of course, uh, we're we're nearing the end of April, so uh, probably another week or two, and black flies are gonna show up. So um, I'm I'm planning on fully enjoying today because I uh, I think we're we're still bug free for for now. So um, get to be outside and not have to wear a, a mesh on my head um, yeah so happy to be back um, short visit this time it's only for a couple of nights but uh, nonetheless it's nice to get away from the city and, and just hang out here listen to the birds sing and enjoy the peace and quiet um, so we'll uh, We'll see how, how the day goes. Um, I'm going to walk down to our little pond here in the back. Check it out. See how uh, how the water level is. It hasn't been raining very much. And uh, there's definitely a lot less water this year than, than last year. But let's take a look and and see what's happening over here. Actually, there's still quite a bit of water, looks like. But definitely a lot less than there was last time we were here, which was a couple of weeks ago. See all sorts of birds flying around. So I was mentioning in my last video, there's some scrap metal here. Somebody dumped in the water. So this was pretty much all covered in uh, in water two weeks ago. You can see the the water level actually dropped quite a bit since then. Um, but yeah, once this water is gone, we're gonna clean all this up. These are remnants of previous owners. I guess they just dumped stuff wherever they they felt like it so I'm gonna have to clean that up it looks terrible I don't, I don't know why people do that there is a dump about 
six kilometers or uh, maybe a bit more about eight kilometers from from the cabin so you know in, in my mind it would uh, make sense to put that in your truck or car and just take it to the dump where it belongs but I guess that's too much effort for some people which is sad um, I also have an owl house that uh, a friend of ours built. I don't know if there's been any owls living in there. Actually, when I was putting it up last year, it was in, uh, in the middle of bug season, so <laughs> I just did it as quickly as I could. So might uh, relocate that at some point, maybe to a better spot. I also noticed there is a there's a bird's nest on one of our lights that that was built. I just saw. I don't know if you can see right up on that pole there. There's a little birdie sitting. Oh, there he goes. I just saw him fly into that nest. Oh, sorry, out of that nest. So maybe there's actually eggs in there it's kind of high up so I can't really see and I don't want to disturb it but I'm gonna put the camera up there since it's on a on a stick maybe that will capture something let's take a look see there's the there's the nest and well Guess I'll see what's in there when I review the <coughs> the camera footage. It'll be interesting. Maybe there's little baby birds in there or eggs. Anyways, beautiful day. Gonna finish my coffee, make some breakfast, and uh, get busy on uh, on the cell phone booster. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So time to get to work. Um, so I bought this phone tone cell booster, um, so I'm going to install that up on the tower up there on the roof. Um, so this is the antenna, uh, which is going to replace the one that's currently up there. Um, so actually I've connected this the the actual device the cell booster itself um, to the antenna that's on the roof right now and it does seem like it's working a lot better um, but it's only giving me 3g or well h plus signal um, so I don't know if it's just because the signal here is really bad and it sucks um, or or I don't know if maybe that antenna up there is just not compatible um, with the booster itself, the booster device. Um, so I'm gonna go swap it out. Um, this antenna looks a little bit different anyways. Um, it's got a little bit or a few more of the little knobbies. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Maybe it just captures the signal a little bit better. Um, anyways, it's not that big of a deal to replace it, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, and this, uh, this thing here is the indoor antenna. So just mounts on the wall and pushes out the signal inside. Um, so hopefully it works. Um, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to get up on the roof and get, uh, get going with the installation. Um, should be pretty straightforward. I already have the whole drill through the wall anyways because I'm running the cable from the existing. Um, antenna through the wall so that should be pretty straightforward um, yeah so we'll see I will uh, I will get this installed and we'll do a little test after and, and see how this thing performs um, we're, we're in a bit of a dead zone so I think the the closest tower is kind of down that way somewhere uh, probably about six or seven kilometers um, in a straight line so it's uh, 
it's probably not that far. Problem is there's like a big hill and lots of trees and we're in a bit of a hole here where, where the cottage is. So um, I think that's basically what's causing me most of the grief with the signal and the reception. Plus the roof on the cabin is all metal as well. So um, when you're outside, you can you can get a bit of a signal, but inside it's really spotty like if you get one bar you're lucky and <clears throat> and even that fades comes and goes so um, so yeah so with uh, with the new booster and the old antenna uh, at least I was getting pretty much constant H plus coverage so I'm hoping with this new antenna we'll be getting LTE signal so um, hopefully that works anyways um, I'm gonna put the camera away and jump up on the roof and get uh, busy Stay tuned. Well, here we are up on the roof. We gotta get that guy off there. Being held by a couple of bolts over here. Just gonna get him off and swap up the antennas. See how it goes. It's a beautiful view from the roof. Nice sunny day, getting some good juice from the solar panels. You can see the windmill's not really moving, so <clears throat> not much, uh, not much, not much wind right now. So beautiful. It's actually getting warm. I have to take off my jacket. It's getting hot. Whew. Get this bad boy off. Here's a. Uh, Here's the skylight I was fixing a couple weeks ago. As you can see, it's a mishmash of sealants and God knows what else. Um, I think we're gonna actually replace the skylight probably next year. I think I'm hoping it will last this summer and in the winter, and then next year this thing's gotta come out because it's. Uh, it's a mess. <clears throat> it's been patched up a million times and it's leaky and who knows, but for now it's holding. Um, we were away for what, a couple of weeks and there were some few days of heavy rain. I didn't see any water inside. Normally there's a little puddle that uh, drips somewhere in the front there, um, but didn't see any. so. Looks like whatever I did helped, um, but yeah, that thing, that thing's got to get replaced. Anyways, enough chit chat, and I gotta get to work.
Okay. There she is, the new antenna. Ta-da. So, now it's time to go inside and, well, actually I gotta plug it in first. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go inside and do a quick little test and see if I'm getting an LTE signal. And if I am, how fast it is. So we'll do a little speed test. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the antenna cable. Just gonna plug it into this bad boy. This one here is the old one that wasn't really working. Funny, they both look almost identical. And we plug in the power. All right, we got both lights on. Now, just gotta find my phone. We'll do a little test. Ooh, okay. LTE, full bars. Look at that. Okay. Let's take a quick look. And do a speed test. Test. Okay, moment of truth. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not awesome. Three and a half, 1.4 upload. Huh? Could be better, I guess. Um, definitely better than what it was before. Also, this is the internal antenna that came with the old booster. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the new one, hook it up, see if that makes any difference. Because that could be it as well. Um, I don't think they're, really much different but um, yeah I'll go grab that and uh, see what happens <clears throat> okay so I just temporarily hooked it up and this is the result with that antenna so not really much different let's run it again now it seems to be a little bit nope it's come down Less concerned about the upload speed, more concerned about download, but I mean it's definitely better than what it was. But it'd be nicer if it was a little faster than that. So um, I'm actually gonna head up back on the roof and see if I can move the antenna up there in a slightly different direction. See if that helps. Um, I'm just kind of guessing and pointing it at the cell tower, so. I'm going to go and try make some slight adjustments and retest it again and see what
coffee, 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 morning, coffee in the morning. Coffee! Ready for some coffee! Coffee and brownies for breakfast? <laughs> Just fill it. Oh, they're a little hard. Getting done up. Whoa. See that? It's like squirted everywhere. Mm. Why does it spill every time? Terrible. Bad design. Bad design. Morning. Sunday. Weather's a little different today. It's cloudy, but it's still nice. It's pretty warm. Um, it's it's a sad day because it's time to go home. Um, yeah, not not ready to head back yet, but uh, you know, unfortunately, got to get back to work and to real life or whatever that is nowadays. Um, Kind of stuck at home, working from home, so. But it is what it is, so it was nice to at least get away for a couple of days and come out here and just enjoy 
peace and quiet and being outside. Um, just a quick update, so the cell booster worked out pretty well. Um, I can't seem to get LTE signal inside for whatever reason. Um, but the H+, uh, I did a bunch of tests yesterday. It seems to be pretty well... Oh, there's a chipmunk. Uh, pretty well is going around uh, getting download speeds of about 9 megabits. Which, I mean, by comparison to what you'd get in the city or at home with your internet provider isn't awesome, but uh, it's good enough to... Uh, you know, check social media or surf the web or whatever if, <coughs> if need be. Um, plus, I'm able to make phone calls and receive phone calls, so um, good enough for me. Um, so yeah, well, uh, well worth the money. Um, I will. Uh, I can post in the comments if anyone is curious as to what uh, what kind of cell booster that is. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. Um, it was. Hundred and ninety dollars Canadian, uh, or something like that. Um, yeah, it's it's working great. Um, actually, when I was doing research, I, I think I know why my previous uh, cell phone booster didn't work. Uh, so there's specific bands that the wireless carrier broadcasts their signal on, um, and unfortunately, some boosters only support certain bands. Um, I wasn't aware of that originally, so um, I think I just read in the comments, Rogers is what we use, or what I use, um, and that's probably the closest tower here. Um, so I think in the description of the original booster that I bought, it just said that it supports Rogers and Fido and, and whatnot, so I just... Uh, bought that but apparently Rogers uses different bands in different areas so uh, before buying a booster you're supposed to use this app and it will tell you what band um, what band of LTE you're connecting to or you can look up the tower there's websites out there um, that's closest to you that you'd be connecting to and then based on that you can determine what band that tower is broadcasting on and what you would be connecting to um, in your area so you gotta make sure that the booster you buy works with that specific band otherwise your the booster is working but it's boosting nothing because it can't read the signal so um, so that's what I've learned um, so this one that I bought I made sure that it actually works with uh, the band that's compatible with the tower here and voila it seems to work so could have just been my mistake um, and, and the other booster was fine but um, it just didn't support the, the band that's uh, that's in this area so lesson learned cost me 200 bucks um, yeah anyways um, we're gonna start packing up uh, well actually we're gonna make breakfast first um, and then we'll start packing up and heading home I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like crazy woodpecker going on um, I'm gonna go for a little walk over there and see if I can see him anywhere and then maybe get him on, uh, on video. Um, there's also a bunch of chipmunks running around and, um, so yeah, like, I guess spring is finally here. Uh, lots of birds flying around, um, so definitely everything's just coming back, uh, back to life. Um, I don't know if you can see, he's right there just sitting on, uh, see there's like three or four birds flying around. So yeah, everything's coming back to life, which is uh, awesome. That just means winter is finally over. Anyways, I'm gonna go see if I can find that woodpecker. Um, if I can, I'll add it to the video. If not, um, thanks for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe, uh, more videos are coming. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again at the Cozy Cabin. Take care.